Hey, what's up? This is Brandon Guerra with the Teenage Engineering OPZ. So in this video, I'm gonna be making a beat from scratch um, using sounds that come with the OPZ. So no additional samples or synths or anything like that. So if you just got the OPZ, you can follow along and kind of check out the workflow. And maybe you don't have the OPZ or you're not sure if you want it or not. Um, hopefully this video can kind of show you how it works, uh, at least in terms of sequencing music, making music on it. Um, so you want to start with a blank project, and so just press P and stop. Right, and we'll go ahead and start with the hi-hat. So I'm going to press track and then hi-hat, and we'll find a sound that we like. That one's cool. So I know I'm going to want to do eighth notes, which is going to be every other button up here for the steps. Yeah, and a trick to kind of make it sound like 16th notes is to add some delay. So I'll press shift until the encoders turn yellow and check it out as I turn the green disc. Yeah, cool. Uh, so I'm gonna live record the bass drum. So I'm gonna press track and then kick. And there's a bunch of different kick sounds. So I'll just pick a couple. Uh, this is also pretty fast, so I'm gonna slow it down uh, by turning the metronome button and the green disc again. Cool. So. I'll use these three. Um, so yeah, press record and play. And now as soon as I start playing, just like on the OP1, it's gonna start recording. Ah, but this is only one measure. So to change that, I'm gonna press track and shift. And now you see all these, it means it's using all 16 steps. Now if I was to shorten it to say 15, you'll see what that would do. Right, or, you know, something like this. Uh, but we want to use all 16, but we want to make it longer. So we can go two bars or four bars, but for this, I'll, I'll maybe go eight bars. Um, yeah, so let's try that again. Record, uh, delete everything here. Record and play. Sure. And to quantize, I'm going to press track and turn the yellow disc all the way to the right. Cool. Uh, so for the snare, we'll keep it at this tempo. And we'll go ahead and make this pattern track, uh, say four bars for some variation. And yeah, we'll hit record and play. I'm gonna quantize it by pressing track, turning the yellow disc. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of delay here as well. Cool, so let's speed this back up to say 170 beats per minute and see how it sounds so far. Cool. So, uh, yeah, let's maybe add something melodic, some chords. So I'm gonna do this on the chord track and it's already got a really great preset.
Yeah, beautiful. Uh, so maybe I'll slow it back down again if I want to record live. And let's make this four bars. And yeah. Maybe quantize it. Maybe make it a little louder too. Cool, let's add some bass. Let's check out some of the different presets. Sounds all right. Let's do four bars. And yeah. Speed this back up to 170 and see how it sounds. So that's a pretty simple little loop uh, that came together pretty quickly. Maybe let's add one more thing for an additional kind of texture or sound. So I'll go to the sample, and these are a bunch of samples that come preloaded with the OPZ. Um, cool. That sounds good. Um, so let's make this one less than a full bar, um, and I'll just kind of put puts them in randomly. Cool, so that's... Now that's obviously too busy, so let's go ahead and just shorten it to make some variation to maybe a random number. Still too busy, there's too much stuff going on. So I'll just subtract a few. Still a little bit too much. So I'm gonna select, say these two, and I'm gonna put a step component on them to play, say every third time. So let's see how that sounds. Yeah, I like it better already. And maybe this one uh, will put the same step component and we'll tell it to play every fourth time. So let's see. Yeah, and just to even put it a little bit more out of the way, uh, we'll go ahead and lower the track volume by going to the red and turning it down once the lights are yellow. Maybe we'll pan it too. Cool, so now let's check out some of the more like performance features. Um, so to access that, I'm gonna go to track and this, which is like your punch in effects, uh, 
the bottom half of the keyboard, white and black keys affects the drum group, and the top half is for the synths. So check it out. One of my favorites, sorry, I'll say one of my favorites is the very top note, which randomizes the synth group. Um, so let's check that one out. plenty more you could do with this. Um, there's an arpeggio track, so we could experiment with that. Yeah, so just a quick basic video to show you some of the basic workflow on the OPZ. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe if you really dug it. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Peace.